This apparatus is called a Geiger-Muller tube. Geiger-Muller tube, or GM tube, GM tube for short, and it's connected to a counter, so it's sometimes called a Geiger-Muller counter or a GM counter. Now what is it used for? It's used to detect nuclear radiation such as alpha, beta particles, or gamma rays, which are waves. The principle was discovered by Hans Geiger in about 1911 and uh, Walter Muller and he worked together to build it in around about 1930. And you often see GM tubes being used to measure radioactive materials or radioactive areas and you hear the classic clicking sound. The and we'll see where that clicking sound comes from. Let's take a look at the diagram and that'll hopefully give you an idea of how this thing works. So first of all, any alpha, beta or gamma radiation can enter through a window, a very thin window made of a substance called mica. Inside is a low pressure gas and one gas that can be used is argon, and quite an inert gas, quite unreactive. Now what happens is that alpha, beta and gamma are ionizing. They are ionizing radiation. Alpha is the most ionizing, followed by beta and finally gamma. And that means that once they've entered the tube, they can ionize some of the argon gas. And that means that you might get an argon atom which is um, being negatively charged. It's had an electron put onto it or it might have had an electron ripped off it, creating an unbalanced atom that we call an ion. So let's say that we create a negative argon ion due to this ionization, ionization event. That negative ion, which way will it be attracted? Well, we have in the center of the tube a positive wire anode. And the outside of the tube, that's the metal outer, is a metal cathode, so that's negatively charged. So this negative ion will be repelled from the, the tube's casing and accelerated towards the anode. And that causes a little tiny pulse of current which is detected by the, the circuit. And the counter will register one count. So each time the Geiger-Muller tube clicks, that's an alpha, beta or gamma radiation event happening coming through the window, causing an ionization, and that creates a small pulse of current. So a small pulse of current is detected when an alpha, beta, or gamma event, I'll call it, ionizes some of the argon gas. And that's the GM tube, very useful for detecting radiation. The external circuit will be connected to a counter or a rate meter. So that means that you can count individual alpha, beta or gamma uh, events or a rate meter will tell you the counts per minute on average that are coming in to your GM tube detector.